What's up everybody? Coach Zach here with Team Critical Bench and in this video we're talking all about how to breathe during exercise. Let's get it. A question that I get all the time is, Coach, how am I supposed to breathe when I'm exercising? And a good rule of thumb is as best you can, try to breathe in and breathe out using your nose. I have several other videos talking about the importance of nasal breathing. You can check them out wherever they're gonna end up. But, <clears throat> but just know that as best you can, try to breathe using your nose, especially steady state cardio. So if you're a runner, if you're a biker, if you're any type of cardio athlete, then you really wanna get into the habit of breathing the entire time with your nose. There's so many benefits of it. You will get those, you will get that oxygen into the tissues of your body, the muscles, the heart, the brain. <clears throat> and so, yeah, try to condition yourself to breathe using your nose. It will be hard in the beginning, but as you get used to it, your body will adapt and it will become more natural for you to breathe with your nose. However, there are some exceptions to when you would wanna breathe with your mouth, specifically with strength training. If you're about to lift some heavy weight, whether a deadlift or a squat, then a good technique that you can use is the Valsalva maneuver. This will allow you to create inter-abdominal pressure, stabilize your spine as you pick up and lower that heavy weight. The Valsalva maneuver is not for everybody. Um, if you have a dysfunctional or weak diaphragm, if you deal with high blood pressure, glaucoma, or any other conditions that might be contraindicated, then you don't wanna do the Valsalva maneuver. We'll go over it briefly in this video, but I have a whole nother video explaining the Valsalva maneuver in depth. You can check it out up above wherever it ends up. The other breath is power breathing. Now, this breath is gonna help you keep that intra-abdominal pressure and just let you release it a little bit at a time. It's an inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth through your teeth. I'll do a demonstration of that later in this video. Another big question that I get is, when do I breathe? In which portion of each exercise am I supposed to inhale or exhale? And a good rule of thumb is you wanna exhale during the hardest part of the exercise. As you're lowering the weight, you wanna inhale. And then as you lift the weight, you wanna exhale. Take a dumbbell row. As you lift the weight, you wanna exhale. And as you lower the weight, you wanna inhale. Always exhale during the hardest part of the exercise. So now let's get into some demonstrations of the Valsalva maneuver, as well as power breathing. Let's get into the Valsalva maneuver, a safe way that will allow you to lift heavy weight while stabilizing your spine. Again, don't do this if you have a dysfunctional diaphragm, glaucoma, or any other contraindications. So I'm gonna do this with the deadlift. So before you lift the weight, you wanna take a deep breath in, and then you wanna brace. So breath in, and then bring your navel towards your spine and lock it in with a full breath of air. So hold the breath to the top and then you can let it out on the way down. Again, deep breath in. Again. The next breath we're gonna go over is power breathing. This is a breath that you should really stick to anytime you need to breathe in or out of the mouth. Now this is a very powerful breath and you can think about it, think about a boxer, right? Think about the, the sound that a boxer makes with each strike. It's like, tch, 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 right? It's the exhale through the teeth. What that's gonna do, it's gonna keep pressure in your abdominals, which will help stabilize your spine. What you don't wanna do is let a full breath out. So you never wanna be, and then, there goes all your stability, all your power, and you're putting your spine at risk. Again, in and out. Demonstrate using a kettlebell swing. So. Like 
Again, in through the nose as best you can and out through the teeth. Power breathing. So just to recap, you want to be breathing in and out of your nose as much as you can, whether you're running or whether you're lifting weights. But when you need to breathe out of your mouth, do that power breath out through the teeth. And when you really need to lift heavy weight, you want to use that Valsalva maneuver to help stabilize your spine if you don't have any contraindications. For more information about the importance of breathing, specifically through your nose, we have so many videos on this channel. You can check them out on the link above. As always, I'm Coach Zach with Team Critical Bench, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, yo.